Hello, <clears throat> Jim Howard here in Fort Worth, Texas. Today's date, it is uh, February 10th of 2019. Uh, update. I, oops, uh, I changed the microphone, or the uh, tripod stand that kind of, well, it's an inexpensive one. I guess I should put my expensive one back there that... This is the 4K monitor, LK 4K monitor, but I have it in uh, 1980 by 1020 mode. And over here is the older LG, both of these are LG monitors. This is the LG 34 inch uh, super wide and it's uh, 2560 by 1080 and it's in 219 format which makes I can have two things here uh, basically 1080 pages side by side uh, the reason this isn't in 4k and in, in, in the past I too I've uh, I tell you quite often you know well the monitor is not in 4k mode <clears throat> the reason it's not in 4k mode is there's a uh, let me hear there's a utility, utility, a utility. Can't even say it after I try it. You know, in addition, this is a driver or utility for this, for OK monitors. And you can see down here that I have it set, you know, here is the uh, LG Ultra Wide. And so I have, you know, the options. And here I have it in split screen two pages side by side. Uh, here's the other options that I have. I have really not messed with, well, I tried it a couple of times with the picture in picture. Uh, and now this is the problem area. Now everything's fine right here. But now let me change this here to uh, my 4K monitor. Now, um, Oops, let me take off this lower screen here. So, uh, I have it in, you know, full screen. Um, but if I have it set, if I set it to 4K, which is 3840 by 2160 resolution, it is, I can change it, but I don't want to, it might mess up our, but, uh, you know, it, everything over here would be super small. And the problem with that is when I drag a browser or anything back and forth, it, it doesn't, uh, there's no smartness in there that says, okay, wait a minute, you know, Jim is dragging this over, so we want to change it to, or keep it in this, you know, whatever. And uh, so everything is, it's just not good for what I want to do. I would have to change, you know, the uh, text size, maybe to 150, 150%, and, but it does both sides, it does both monitors. So if you happen to know of a, now, yes, I am going to, yes, I do go to, let's see here, uh, displays. Yes, I do go here and I do change, you know, I, I make sure which one I'm I'm on and I change the, uh, like here for the 4K monitor, I've gone down here and changed it to 1920 by 1080. When I go over to the other monitor, and then of course I drag the monitors around if I change their position or whatever, but, you know, I have that in uh, 2560 by 1080. Now the one thing, uh, On the, no, it's a 34K. I'm looking at the notes that I made. To view 2560 by 1080, pick 1440 option. Hmm. 1440 option. 
Where do I want to go for that? Let me drag this over here so you can see what I'm talking about here. This is the program that I'm using. Uh, Manicam. Uh, let me go to settings. Go to let's see accounts. And let's see video. Okay. Okay, it's saying upload 2560 by 1080. To view 2560 by 1080, people can pick. Okay, that's like uh, for you, YouTube uh, viewers. Uh, so if you're not seeing this the way you should be seeing it, you should pick 1440 option when the list pops up. But I don't think, not see, I don't think I need to upload it that. I just upload it at the uh, hmm. Do I upload it 1920 by 10? Well, it's going to be whatever I uh, I don't know. So, let me get this off the screen because that's one reason I have this monitor over here so you don't have to look at that. So, so what is new? Well, one, I'm, uh, whoops, where's my video? I've lost my video. There I am. Um, then I lost my train of thought. Oh. I want to see when I upload this video. So this video is going to be coming from this monitor, the ultra-wide monitor, 34-inch, and it's recorded in 2560 by 1080. So when I go to, well, normally I would just save this and upload it immediately. Maybe I should have my program render it. I guess I'll see what, you know, I'm not sure. That's what this is, sort of a test. Uh, the audio, I'm usually testing, <laughs> testing audio or something. By the way, that reminds me. Anyway, this is going to be, let me know. Well, I think I'll be able to find out also myself when I upload it, then I can go and I can see how well it's displaying and what options we have, and I'll try to remember to check uh, 1440 option instead of maybe HD. Of course, it may say HD next to the... Anyway, we'll check that. I uh, wanted to tell you... Let's see, go to Amazon. I have something I ordered today, and it will be here tomorrow. And... It is this. And sort of strange, I I did a search on YouTube. Um, whoops. Did a search for this on YouTube. And I didn't find it. Because usually, uh, when I get something, and I uh, go to do a review, I'll find tons of review on the pro that somebody else has done. And almost always, because I'm lazy, <laughs> those reviews are usually better than uh, than the reviews that I do. And then a lot of times I just give the top, you know, the I don't go into great, great detail. Now this looks interesting to me. It's a USB uh, sound card. Okay, why aren't you? Should be going to. Is that because I? Is that because I wrote on it? Uh, 
How do I clear that? Clip, add a note, erase, but then I have to, okay, that I didn't have to go over the entire thing. Oh, okay, put an X here, there we, no, I don't want to save it, but now I want to, yes, okay, here. Nope, it's still not showing up. Want to show it big? Oh, expanded view. Click to click the image. I did. Oh, okay, here we are. So this is a sound card. It looks pretty neat, and it's only like $30. And it has, let me jump over here, has a USB. You can plug your keyboard into it. It has another USB for, a, I guess, a storage or something. I'm not sure. Well, I'm not sure what a U-disk is. Uh... You can plug your mouse in, plug a headset in, you can plug speakers in, you can plug a headset in with microphone, like you've seen me use so much. You can also plug in other types of microphones, and a USB microphone like this uh, uh, Blue Yeti should also work. A lot of combinations. Um, but I didn't I haven't found any reviews on YouTube, which I do not understand. But uh, anyway, it should be here tomorrow. And it looks like it might be just what I'm looking for. And I'll be interested to see. And I may not tomorrow, I may not load everything. I may not plug everything in here. I'll just plug the USB microphone in, the Yeti, and I'll plug the headset in, I'm sure. And I'm sure probably I will play with this EQ button, which allows me a default sound effects, music sound effects, movie sound effects, gaming sound effects. Press EQ to change to different sound effects. I wonder how that's going to work. But anyway, that should be here tomorrow, so you can expect a video tomorrow. And uh, like I said, it was only $26. And, uh, but it was not free one day delivery. They were going to do it in two days, but I'm paying $6 to get one day delivery. So it should be here tomorrow. Uh, what else is going on? I think that's it. Let me make this short. I'm anxious to upload this and to see what... Well, I think it's being recorded. Uh, the video, I think, is I'm recording this in 1080p. So when I upload it, it'll be in... 1080p in the other formats. I don't think we have to worry about this 1440, you picking 1440 or anybody picking 1440 because I'm not recording it in uh, 2560 by 1080. I don't think. Well, I guess we'll find that out. Uh, oh, there you are. I want to tell you about some movies, too, in another video, and a couple of shows, series that I've found that are interesting. Um, also, what I'm wondering about, and you may know the answer to this, I, I did a little Google search. I have, uh, oh, <laughs> it's on the floor, a Roku TV set. I don't watch it. It's been sitting over here. I put it in different places. It's never where I want it. I just, uh, and I don't watch that much. <clears throat> but this is a 4K monitor, like I told you. And I checked, I thought I found one, a Roku uh, Ultra or whatever. Let me do a search maybe here. Okay, we're on. Roku TV. Okay. 
Well, actually, I didn't want the Roku TV. I want the, uh, uh, what, do you, what would you call that? Uh, here. Okay, it was this one. I was going to order this one. Roku Premiere. HD, 4K, HDR streaming. In fact, I actually did order it, and then I did some more searching right it, and I went back and canceled the order. Because people were saying, no, you cannot, although I think maybe it was certain, because somebody was saying they had, I forget what kind of TV, or monitor. It would not work with their monitor. Somebody else said, ah, oh, yeah, you can do it this way with this different kind, with some kinds of monitors and whatever. So I have a uh, Asus monitor. Yeah, I think so. So what I'm looking for, like I already have 4K, but what I'd like to do is have my 4, or I don't have, this is the only thing I have is a 4K. So I would like to, I'm willing to spend the money, even though I already have a 4K or a uh, Rook TV. What I'm looking for is a the Roku device that I can plug into a 4K monitor and so and I have the app already on here. Uh where are you, Roku? Here it is. Yeah. This is from the Play Store. Windows Play Store. I think I have it on the Android also. Uh, now, I don't, it's not going to, it can't discover my uh, TV because it's not plugged in. But with this, well, it probably wouldn't discover it also, but that, that's fine. If I would just work on my, uh, Anyway, let's stop this. It's, it's looking for the TV, and the TV set isn't hooked up. So, if you know it, or if you're doing this, if you have purchased one of these Roku packages, um, uh, let's see, Roku Express, uh, Roku Streaming Stick, Roku Ultra, but I want to have Roku Streaming Stick 1. But I'm looking for something that uh, will work with a monitor. So, uh, anyway, thank you very much for watching.